Hello, PUBG people. What I'm going to show you today is a win that Truly and I got stealthing into the last circle. Uh, right now we're running to get a car and go to military. We're on Aaron Goal, and we're right about here. Truly bags a car, and while he's doing that, I run in and grab everything I can find inside of this building, which includes da 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 a set of spike strips. So we start off the start off the run with a nice spike strip set on the bridge. He's like, yeah, throw him out here. I'm like, all right, sweet. Lay it out. I'm like, that's the thing of beauty right there. And I mean, we have to come back across eventually, but we don't. We don't come on the bridge, so that works out to our favor. Um, and I'll show you the end results of that here. So we go on in. We get ourselves to Millie. And we loot. Uh, pretty much uneventually, even though we do have people who come in, and those people do come in right behind. It's always kind of nice if you're going someplace. I wish I'd moved the buggy now, because that really would have hosed them. I didn't even think about it. Right, let's have a look-see here. Can't see because the zone is uh, shifting away, but any moment now. Behold my handiwork. And rejoice, fools. Nope. The brakes don't work when you don't have any wheels, bud. What's wrong with our car? Why won't it go? Alright. So those guys, they do eventually come into military, but they don't want to mix it up with us. So they end up looting our scraps while we go through the entire thing. We get pretty well looted up. And then um, we start to shift over. Let's see where we're at here. Shift over, shift over, shift over. And I think we're about there. We really spent some time looting. We had the circle in Millie, so we really got kitted. And then um, when it's about that time, we uh, take a car out. There we go. Take a car out, and then we decide, truly says, well, hey, you know what? Let's not go on the bridge, because obviously, um, you know, it's wrecked, and you can see the guys whose car we wrecked waiting on the bridge for us. So we're like, well, forget them. Sorry, boys. I think they thought they'd surprise us, but instead, we just were like, forget you. And we're like, well, let's go find a boat over here in the other city. And we're going to go to the end, but there wasn't a boat, so we're like, well, it's in the zone. Why don't we swim it? <laughs> I bet they were honked off on the bridge. All that waiting for nothing. I know that feeling though, so sorry boys. And then we go up here and we loot the buildings that are in. And then we're like, you know what, if we're going to swim, we better hustle it up. And I was like saying to him, I was like, well, you don't want to go towards Ferry Pier, get on these rocks maybe, yeah, or, you know, and we're trying to debate where is the best place to come up at this point. So we're like looking at the map, boosting it up. And I was like, you know, we'll gain a little bit of swim time if we just ramp this car into the sea going a million miles an hour. So that's what we do. Always fun. Saved you a little bit of distance. I don't think anybody saw that, but it was good. So I'm gonna save you a little bit of this long, boring swimming. Click. But we do our job. We swim under the water. We swim above the water. I backstroke for a little while just to mix it up. The circle catches us, and then it's like, all right, now we gotta start being serious. Yeah, but it's not digging us too bad. It's phase three, so we make it just in the right amount of time. But we like, as soon as we get on the rocks, we boost the kid and do everything we got to do. And then we're like, we got to go again. We got to go again right away. And then, based on where the circle is, we're really hosed because it's like, if we get out and run in this, we're going to be wide open on the pier and on the beach. 
So Truly's like, maybe we swim again? And I was like, yeah, you know, I was like, there's actually a hole right over here. I was like, we could get in it. And I said, I've been in it before. So we have at it. Another incredibly long swim. But the nice thing is we're completely stealthing it up here. There's a BDRM coming in. This guy, I think, was cheating, but killed himself. He was a moron. Um, and there you go. And everybody's kind of coming in from the outer edge of the map. The boys on the beach over there and the BDRM launch another flare, piggy piggy. We get up and in. And then if you're ever faced to go stick yourself on the beach, this is not a bad hole. You got a little cover, you got something metal to hide behind if you need to, if you get pushed. Uh, and it keeps you indefinitely pretty much from the rest of the field. So we're looking, we're looking, poking our heads up a little bit, but mainly we're just hunkering down. And then I'll uh, slow this down a notch. Let me show you the shape of the circle and what's going on here. So people fighting to get in, fighting to get in, being watched, looking at Eric Carmen and uh, his buddy whose name escapes me at the moment. Danny, yeah, are, um, are really outfitted. I mean, they have level 3 stuff, they have the BDRM, they're getting a drop right now, we're like, well, let's watch on the BDRM, maybe we'll get a chance to zap these fools. But I think, I've got a Car 98, Truly's got a M24, I've got a, what do I have, an M4, which uh, I've actually, I need to give that gun more time, I haven't been running it much, but it's a good gun, even with the nerf, it's still pretty deadly. I do get knocked a couple times to it, but uh, yeah, we've both got decked out M4s. So we're going to get to it here. All right. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Yeah, a lot of people out of the circle still. All right. So Truly's been watching these guys on our right-hand side, Big E and Shadow Man. And he's like, they keep standing still. He's like, I really want to shoot these guys. And I was like, well, let's wait. You know, maybe they'll both show up at the same time. And we're watching and watching, and they're not in the best to cover, and they're not utilizing it as well as they probably could have. This guy in the middle probably could have taken it. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether he was hacking or just really good. So we're going to face off against Shadow Cat, TTV, Shadow Cat, and um, Hero and Chaos here in a little bit. I've played Hero and Chaos in other matches. Oh, we almost just got that team completely. I don't know why. I think I must have neck shot my guy. Go back and see that again, because that was actually pretty good. So we're watching. I'm going to watch it from Truly's point of view, just because he uh, he drills this guy good. Missed it. Hang on. All right. So we're watching these guys, and Truly's like, I was like, hey, they're standing still up here. Let's do it. Truly being this guy, and I neck shoot mine. So close to a double knock. I'm so mad. So here comes Danny Yeah and Eric Carmen. Truly's like smooth. So we lay a path to get to that little hut because we realize now the circle is just in front of us. So we want this area. We have a knock to the right so we know it's safer to move. And here comes the BDRM. I almost get road killed. Sorry, boys. Kind of like being chased by a rhino, you just move at right angles. Nobody knew that, but I watched the crocodile hunter, so fuck you. I see these guys, and I'm like, oh, they're going to move. I was like, call it to true. I'm like, hey, these guys getting ready to move. Jump out. Beam pan. Kills truly after I get knocked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bit of a dive here in a second. Here come the boy. <laughs> truly saves me for the first of a couple times at the end of this match. <laughs> I was sticking myself out there pretty good this match. So I jump up, and I'm saving a med kit for this kind of a moment. These guys go to move and get on us, which is smart play, but Dale humps them, like, hard. He 
Pops TTV Shadow Cat and almost down to Hero Chaos. Only his level three helmet saved him. Thanks. So we got Ruinous Leo who's gonna hunt Dale, and we're up here. Truly, I think mistakenly later confessed to me that he accidentally threw these smokes. He meant to throw uh, frag grenades at these fools. All right, so Shadow Cat gets knocked again. I checked the BDRM to see how close it is to exploding on us, and I'm like, all right, I need to get someplace where I can see what's going on. I'm like, maybe in this hut, the smoke hasn't gotten in, and it hasn't. So I take a peek, and I'm like, holy shit, he's resin this guy. I was like, let's get it on. I just <laughs> and I re, re down my guy, and truly looks out, and pops him. And that's the match. But a couple interesting things happen there all at once. Like we go back and show it on the map. So inside, Dale, what's his name, is going around looking for someone to shoot. And he knows he's got company close. He sneaks out the hut and it's going to go around. Ruinous Leo's stalking him. That's very interesting in that um, when that happens, when they die, they're killing the other team. So right as that happens, he turns to look and truly leans out and gives it to him. And that was that. Like, everybody died all at once. But uh, it was a fun match afterwards. We are kind of like, that was an interesting round. And I get picked up for the second time. Yay. Good game, Drew.